The illegal streaming of football matches remains a problem for the football industry, its broadcasters and content producers across the world. And there are few signs that that is about to change. In a January 2023 article for The Athletic, Phil Buckingham wrote that the Audiovisual Anti-Piracy Alliance, AAPA, produced a report in December that estimated that 17 million Europeans aged between 16 and 74 viewed illegal content in 2021. Of course, the popularity of illegal streams is no great mystery. Why pay for something when it's available for free? That applies far beyond sport or content production. But what, in football specifically, is driving the demand? First, it's important to note that the demand and supply of illegal streaming survives despite significant legal deterrence. In 2019, a man from Stoke was sentenced to over seven years in prison for running the streaming service Dreambox. He was one of three to be jailed, having provided pubs throughout the country with illegal devices which enabled them to avoid paying proper subscription charges to satellite providers over a 10-year period. During the trial, it was estimated that Sky and other broadcasters had lost income of around £10 million. Two years later, in 2021, the operator of TV Solutions, which had provided illegal access to, among other types of content, Premier League football, was also sentenced to 16 months in jail. And in early January 2023, it was reported that West Mercia Police would be visiting 1,000 homes across the country to issue warnings to those on a database of customers suspected of viewing illegal content, again including Premier League football matches. So, the potential punishments for providing illegal streaming services have been well defined, and yet the popularity of pirated services shows little sign of abating, and at some cost to football. In 2019, at the behest of an unnamed Premier League club, an American sponsorship valuation firm and a London-based company specialising in digital piracy conducted a survey which revealed that across a sample of eight games, each match had an average pirated audience of just over 7 million viewers. Given that the average audience for a Premier League game shown in England on Sky Sports is just 1.9 million, that's fairly considerable. It was also estimated that, as a result of that unofficial audience, each Premier League club was potentially losing up to £1 million a game in lost sponsorship income. So, despite an inferior product, with matches often being broadcast in a foreign language, underneath intrusive banner adverts and beside toxic chat windows, streaming remains a preferable option. What then are the factors driving supporters away from official broadcasters and towards streams? Well, to find out, we held an online survey over a three-day period, during which 5,876 people responded. And their answers were compelling. 58% of those people told us that they illegally stream matches. When asked which leagues they stream, 21.5% said the Bundesliga, 22 said Serie A, and 307 said La Liga. By far the most popular, however, was the Premier League. 94.6% of respondents answering yes told us that they streamed Premier League matches. Asked why they chose to stream those games rather than watch through official channels, 59.8% said that the subscription was too expensive. Our respondents weren't limited to one answer, and 59.7% also said that they chose to stream because the match they wanted to watch wasn't legally available. Even though only 29% of the respondents lived in the United Kingdom, the lack of availability was a likely consequence of British broadcasting laws. Between 2.45pm and 5.15pm on a Saturday, it's prohibited to show live football on British television. The 3pm blackout, as it's commonly known, applies to live football from anywhere in the world, but it means that for fans without a ticket to a 3pm Saturday kickoff, there is no legal way of watching their team. Now, unsurprisingly, rather than following on social media or live score services, many supporters chose to hunt out a stream instead. And given the lack of a legal alternative, it's no surprise that they're willing to tolerate that patchy quality and that unfavourable experience to do so. But although by a slim margin in our survey, the cost of an official subscription is the bigger driver towards illegal streaming particularly so at the dawn of an anticipated global recession and, more locally, in the midst of a cost-of-living crisis in the United Kingdom. And yet, subscription cost has only increased in recent years. 
In 2019, Amazon Prime became a Premier League broadcaster in the United Kingdom, alongside Sky Sports and BT Sport, meaning that viewers had to be subscribed to three different providers to see all the televised games across a season. Added to this, according to a report conducted by Bloomberg.com, Amazon's entrance into the market has coincided with an increase in cost to the consumer. Prior to the streaming giant acquiring a rights package, the cost to watch all televised Premier League games in a season was £540. By the end of 2022, Bloomberg estimated that it had risen to £700. The UK is also the most expensive place in the world to watch the Premier League. As expected, this is because it's native to the UK, where football is by far the dominant sport, but the comparison is still startling. According to a Premier League index created by the website Sporticos and assuming the cheapest offers available, subscribing to a complete season in the UK costs twice as much as it does in the USA and France. Over £350 more per year than it does in Qatar and £400 more than it does in Germany. That means UK residents all pay, at best, £605.88 a season to watch the Premier League, while a resident of Germany parts with just £210.85. On top of this, unrestricted by the Saturday blackout, the resident of Germany, like others outside the UK, is actually able to watch far more of the games and with far greater flexibility. Of course, these inequities aren't a justification for illegal streaming or a defence of it, but within the confines of that survey, they do help to explain why it remains an option for so many fans, and what non-legal means there are to potentially change that. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.